Number one, graph the equation. So I'm going to click to enlarge the graph and click line. Now in slope intercept form, we have y equals mx plus b. m is the number in front of x and b is what's being added or subtracted from it. m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. We have 3 for our slope and 1 for our y-intercept. So we start at 1 on the y-axis and our slope is 3 or 3 over 1. So that means you go up 3, count up 3 to the right 1. And that's number one. Number two, find the slope and y-intercept of the graph of the equation. So this is in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. m is the number in front of x. b is what's being added or subtracted from it. m is the slope. So the number in front of x is 7. So the slope is going to be 7. The y-intercept is going to be what's being added to it, or 5. Always include the sign. If this was being subtracted, you will put minus 5. It's just being added, so you just put 5. Number 5. Find the slope and y-intercept of the graph of the equation. When we have just y equaling a number, that means its graph is a horizontal line, and every horizontal line has a slope of 0. So we're going to type in 0. The y-intercept, we have y equaling 6, so the y-intercept is 6, and that's number 5. Number 6, the slope is the number in front of x, so 1 over 5, and the y-intercept is negative 1 over 8, include the negative, and that's number 6. Number 7, we are writing this in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So you have y equals m is negative 4, so negative 4x plus b, and b is 5 over 3, so plus 5 over 3. And that's number 7. Number 8, determine the equation of the line. We need two things to have an equation, the slope-intercept form, that is the slope and the y-intercept. Making this graph larger, y-intercept is negative 6. These are going down by twos. This is also going to the left and right by two. So y-intercept of negative six, to find the slope, we gotta choose two whole number points. We can start here and we can use this one, but there are others you can use as well. So starting here, we go up to four, six. So a rise is six to the right two. So six over two, which will be three. So our slope is going to be 3. So let's put both of those together to make the equation. So we type in y equals slope is 3, so 3x. Three Y-intercept is negative 6, so minus 6. And there's my equation for number 8. Going to number 10, write an equation of the line that passes through the given points. So let's take a look at it. So the first step is to find the slope. So write down the slope formula and label your x1 and y1, x2 and y2. Then substitute in your points. So we have 1 minus 6 over 1 minus a negative 4. That gives you negative 5 over 5, which equals negative 1. So my slope is going to be negative 1. Now step 2 is to find the y-intercept or b. So what we need to do is substitute this slope and either 1, 1, or negative 4, 6 in for x and y to find b. I'm going to use 1, 1 just because they're easier numbers to work with. Okay, so I'm going to substitute in negative 1 as my slope. And then now I'm going to substitute in 1, 1 for x and y. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Add on the both sides, and my y-intercept is going to be 2. Now, third step is to put my slope and y-intercept together. My slope is negative 1, my y-intercept is 2. Putting those together, I'll have y equals negative x plus 2. Do not put a negative 1 
because it's a little cleaner to write it as just negative x. It means the same thing. So let's type that in. So we have y equals negative x plus 2. And that's number 10. Number 11, we are graphing the equation. Click to enlarge the graph. My y-intercept is 2, so start at 2. My slope is 4, so 4 over 1, so go up 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. Press save, check answer, and that's the answer for number 11. Number 13, suppose you have a $7 off coupon at a fabric store. You buy fabric that costs five fifty per yard. Write an equation that models the total amount of money y you pay if you buy x yards of fabric. What is the graph of the equation? Well, per yard means that's going to be the rate. So y equals 5.5x. $7 off means I'm taking off $7, so subtract 7, and that's my equation. Now i got to graph it. So click in my graph to enlarge it. I can start at negative 7, that's my y-intercept. Now to find my second point, we see we have a slope of 5.5. So let's substitute in some numbers for x to give you a whole number result. So typing in 2 for x, I have 5.5 times 2, which is 11, minus 7, which gives me 4, so I can do 2, 4. So 2 up to 4 for my second point. You could also use a calculator to find a table of values to find the second point. Press save, check answer, and that's number 13. Number 14, the temperature at sunrise is 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Each hour, the temperature rises 5 degrees. Write an equation that models the temperature y in degrees Fahrenheit after x hours. What is the graph of the equation? So we have y equals. Our rate is 5. We're going up 5 degrees every hour, so 5x. And we start at 20 degrees, so we do plus 20. That's our starting point. Okay, now for our graph. Since our y-intercept is 20, it will not be a because it has us starting at 0, 0. Each of these dashes are going up by 5. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20. That means it could either be B or D. Enlarging B, from here B would need to go up 5 over 1 for my rate. So up 5 over 1, up 5 over 1. So this does have a slope of 5. So it would have to be B. And that's the answer for number 14. Number 15, use the slope and y-intercept to graph the equation. So you have to put it in slope-intercept form first. So let's do that. So start by subtracting 18 from both sides. You get 3y equals negative 18x. Divide both sides by 3. You'll get y equals negative 6x. So, so let's graph that. So y equals negative 6x. Since there's nothing being added, it means my y-intercept is 0, 0. Negative 6 means I go down 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And I go to the right 1. It's a decreasing line since the slope is negative. Press save. Check answer. That's number 15. Number 16. Write a recursive formula and an explicit formula in slope-intercept form that model the arithmetic sequence. And how does the recursive formula relate to the slope-intercept form? So the first thing I do is look for the pattern. I'm adding 3 to each number to get the next one. The only one of these where I'm adding a 3 is A. So that means this will be the formula for it. Now, which one will be in slope-intercept form? If I'm adding 3, it means the rate of change is 3, and I'm multiplying by 3, and positive 3, so that means it would be D. Now, how does it relate? The common difference of 3 is going to be the slope of the line, so that means it's going to be D. 
because it is the slope of the line in slope-intercept form, but nothing else. The y-intercept is not the first term. The y-intercept is negative 4, the first term is negative 1, so it can't be any of the other choices that involve it being the slope of the line. So that's number 16.